Developing right now, police are searching for an armed suspect who led police on a chase from Webster to Worcester. It all started with a traffic stop right around midnight, and it escalated from there. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Webster with the very latest. Christina? Kate, I just spoke with the deputy chief who says the man police are now looking for, this suspect, uh, apparently led them on a chase through several towns because he apparently was trying to avoid getting his truck towed. Police say the 28-year-old was pulled over on 395 in Webster because his pickup was unregistered. And while they were waiting for a tow, police say he took off, leading them on a chase. At that point, he was heading the, at one point, he was heading the wrong way in a southbound lane. State police joined them in Oxford and set up stop sticks with spikes. They say he was going the wrong way on I-290 when he crashed. And then police say he got out of his truck, pulled out a handgun, and went into a Buick enclave with Connecticut plates and forced that driver out. Police say he then headed to, toward Kelly Square in Worcester. At that point, they backed off the pursuit as he sped off. Here's what the deputy chief had to say. Once they told him that they were going to tow the car, obviously things escalated. Uh, we're very fortunate that nobody was hurt, um, whether none of the motoring public or uh, the officers. It just goes to show just how dangerous this job is. You know, if there was a firearm in that car, and you know, he wish, you know, he, if he later carjacked somebody, and you know, this thing could have ended up a lot worse. Well, the deputy chief says that suspect, who is, by the way, from Spencer, has a long criminal history. The chief says he actually grazed one of the officers with his truck as he sped off. That officer was not injured, though. And there were two women in the truck with him when he was originally pulled over. Police are talking with those women. It is unclear whether they will face any charges. In Webster, Christina Hager, WBZ News.